Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Centurion from King Cop Lock and Centurion Cop Lock. If you uh, don't know, I uh, got a flashlight flash in my face three times, three or four times by uh, Officer Matthew Griffin on my post that I posted last week. And this is the letter from the chief that I got involved in that. It says, Dear Centurion, I have received and reviewed the investigation into your complaint relative to the incident that you reported on March 8, 2014. A review of the facts indicates that the officer did not act outside department policy, statute, or authority. I understand that you spoke with Sergeant Simons and that you disagreed with his explanation of where and how officers are assigned patrol responsibilities and basically they found it unfounded. This is ludicrous. Um, if you don't know, afterwards, after you flash a flashlight in my face, I filed a complaint with Officer Simons, which is a sergeant of the watch of that night. And later on, uh, Griffin pulled the Yui and followed the gentleman that was driving the car. And we actually slowed down to 15 miles an hour, and he actually followed us. We have videotape of that as well. I'll uh, post those links. But if you notice, the city of Keene. City of Keene, March 12, 2014. Police Department, 400 Marlboro Street, New Hampshire, 03431. And it was from Ken Miola. And he also gave me another letter from my complaint on the night I got punched in the face five times on camera, on two separate cameras from Eric Freerock. Um, Cop Lock Radio's uh, Eric Freerock and um, my camera and I got whacked a bunch of times right in front of Mr. Griffin and he didn't do anything and the letter still still says he didn't act outside department policy, statute or, the, or authority. I understand that you spoke with Lieutenant Lawrence and are satisfied with the office and we were satisfied with the officer's actions were professional and legitimate. So I just wanted the uh, point that out and uh let everybody know that keen police department is on my shit list and this summer i'm going to be the biggest pain in the ass they have ever seen i'm going to file complaints on every little thing that they do according to the constitution and against people's uh human and civil rights and if griffin's in that area i'm going to try to put him on a citizen's arrest again for violating the law and uh abusing his uh his authority, making 911 calls to teammates that he's a coach of at Keene State College, having them uh, tattletale on people inside parties, letting him give uh, prob illegal probable cause to enter premises illegally, and also having his teammates uh, make 911 calls, 911 hang up calls, in, uh, and then it allows them to go into the premises as well. That's that's illegal. They can't they can't enter people's houses on false pretenses like that. And uh, it's a corrupt. Matt Griffin's a corrupt dude. And uh, apparently, his his buddy here, uh, Chief Miola, Kenneth Miola, is uh, a friend of his, and he likes to cover up for him. That's it. Keen Cop Lock Raw. I'm out.